Hey everybody. Sorry I've been on in a while. It's been kind of rough here lately. I've been really sick. But I've got some, a couple of mail, mail calls I got to do. You know, my knife and something from Lista. And I got a couple things from Amazon that somebody wants me to, you know, check out and review. And, uh, yeah, I should have done a couple of these two weeks ago. But I've been stuck in bed and finally decided to get out and do something. Uh, see, Friday was going to go fishing. And this trailer right here that I'm on. It's a little small trailer. I put some side tool boxes on it and put my big tool box and my thing. We got wood and, you know, we got it set up partially Friday and Saturday. We finished it out. We was going to go to the Halloween, something out in the woods in the bayou. They, you, you know, Halloween, you know, walk through the woods. You make it through the other end. You get s'mores and, you know, kids wanted to go. So we got everything ready. Got everything, all the fishing stuff packed up. Made it two miles right before the gas station to pull in to get gas. My truck quit. I figured I ran out of gas, which in 80 miles, I shouldn't have ran out of gas. But uh, we pushed the truck up in there. I put $25 worth of gas in there and uh, wouldn't start. Come find out my fuel pump quit, which I should have known when I turned the key on. It wasn't making a noise. It was making a rumble kind of, blur, you know, noise. But, uh, yeah, it kind of bummed me out. Finally, I got, you know, I went and used part of my rent money. I just got some money from somebody that owed me. And I had, uh, luckily, I found one for like 115 bucks, but it's a one-year warranty, a one plug. So I hope it's the one for my truck. If not, it's going to cost me almost 200 well, about 200 bucks. It's 188, 188 plus tax. But uh, I got towed home, and then all of a sudden, my fuel pump was working, but it was really loud. Well, it wouldn't start. I figured maybe it's flooded because I tried to start it quite a few times the other day. And uh, yesterday, come out here, it still wouldn't start. Well, today, it sounds normal. I went out there because I didn't get it fixed yesterday because a friend of mine, Bob, he was sick, and I was hurting so bad I couldn't even hardly walk from having to push the truck twice and uh i went out there today and it almost crunk the fuel pump sounds normal but it still won't crank i mean the, it's still loud but it sounded a little more normal than what it was so i think when it i think it the last time i ran out of gas a week ago i think it sucked something up so 10 to 1 i'm gonna need a fuel filter too but i mean i got the fuel pump and it's went out this is the fourth time in three years that it's quit but it's always come back on sooner or later you know usually 10 to 30 minutes it's never took three days, but, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and still put the fuel pump in there. Me and Bob's gonna drop the tank on it. Um, I watched a video. It's really easy on this truck, but, uh, I think I'm gonna go get a fuel filter and, um, put it in too, because I really think it's probably stopped up. I've ran out of gas, not often, maybe a couple times a year, so I'm pretty sure that, uh, it needs a filter. But, uh, first off, I'm going to do my knife from, uh, Raven Tactical. Yeah, I've been meaning to do this for, Lord, I got this thing on the 18th, 19th. So I've been meaning to do it for a while. Ooh, not too bad. We've already got two big knives in. The first one was, you know, eh. Second one is nice. But I was worried about the third one, this one. But that ain't bad. A little chopper. That big old handle. But yeah, that's that 440. 440C steel. It's got a gold rivet in it. Or, I don't know, if you, well, you wouldn't call that a rivet. Uh. Oh, I can't think of what you call it, but well, it's got some weight to it. Look at that case. Now, I'm, I a lot of times I don't like leather cases because they make them look so cheap and all, but that looks, that actually looks nice. Look how thick it is. I mean, it's got some, you don't usually see them that thick. It's got a lot of, a lot of extra in there. Nah, not bad. I still like the plastic ones better because they, you know, they do last a little longer. But, uh, yeah, a lot of leather ones, if it's real leather and it, it looks real. Sometimes it's hard to tell between real and not real on leather. But, uh, it's a good stiff one. But, yeah, it's sharp. 
I like that. I really like this one. I mean, I've liked most of their knives, you know, for 10 bucks. You know, is it? It ain't exactly straight. I mean, it is, but it ain't. It it does curve up a little bit towards the end. So I don't know. Do y'all call it? Would y'all call this a chopper? But uh, I know Bob bought me that one knife that was a chopper. It's a, a folder. It was really nice. And uh, I really want to get me one of them ones. I had one years ago. It was a real one. My last one was fake. But it's the choppers I had years, years ago. It has the wooden handle and the blade's round. And you can sit there and put it on one side of the meat. And you run over it. I don't know what you call them things. But um, I had one. I got when I was 16. And I had it for a while. I got Well, I had it for two years. I got stolen when I was 18. And uh, it was worth a couple hundred bucks. And um, I got it really cheap. Or it was given to me one. Or I found it. I can't remember. But uh, I know I didn't have much in it. But, uh, yeah, I really missed it. And I found me another one, but it was El Cheapo. But I really want to get another one because it was, I used it, you know, I was good, you know, the cheap one I used for fishing, you know, housework, you know, cooking, cutting meat and all that, cutting vegetables. They got one online. It's one of them uh, Chinese gadget things. It's a circular thing. And you put the blade on the table and when you roll it, the blade rolls and it cuts and chops. It looks pretty cool. I want to, I want to get me one. You can get them things for like 10 bucks. I know, I like that. I really do like the knife this month. It's well worth the 10 bucks, you know, $17 for shipping. I like that handle. That's, that's really, really nice handle. I just wished I had uh, measurements and everything. I mean, overall, it's got to be at least 8 inches. The blade, let's see, 1, 2, 3, at least 4 inches on the blade. Maybe five. I don't know. I'm not. I just. I got a little tape measure somewhere. A little dinky one. It's in. I think my bag that I just got. The bag that I always carry on my shoulder. My little bag. I got me a little bit one. Bit a little bit bigger. It looks more like a. a school bag or whatever. The mail bag, traveler's bag, whatever they want to call it. But I like that Raven. Thanks. I really enjoyed this knife this month. A little more than last month. I mean, that one was okay last month. But it's even cut where the knife fits down in there. And that's nice. Usually they don't do that. Usually it just butts up against it. But I like it. Y'all check them out. I'll put the link in uh, the description uh, for Raven for uh, their Facebook. Uh, Y'all do it for uh, YouTube too. Y'all go check them out. I mean, $9.99 a month. I mean, you can't beat it. Even if one month, if it looks like it's worth five bucks, you know, the next month is going to look like 30. So it's it's going to even out. This is 10 knives this year, which means that's 100 bucks, means 170 with tax or with shipping. And I'd say I've gotten over $200 worth of knife. So the first the first one was really nice. There's a couple of them that were worth 30, you know, at least 30 bucks a piece. But uh, that one of them we got, they sell for $64 and it sells. So this is a nice knife. But anyway, y'all go check them out, and I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, y'all have a good day, and uh, God bless everybody, and be ready, um, I've got a couple more coming out, maybe today, and I'll, I'm doing them today, they might be out today or tomorrow, but uh, thanks everybody, later.